So how dangerous is Colombia really in the year 2021? Welcome to How to Expert. My name is Sam, and today we're going to talk about how safe is Colombia really in the year 2021 because we hear a lot of reports in the news, especially with the little bit politic, uh, politically turbulent times here in Colombia. We hear usually just uh, very, very bad news here. So I want to talk about what safety precautions I take if uh, I have had to hire my safety precautions here in Colombia while living here. And we I uh, want to structure the video in how to avoid dangerous situations in the first place, how dangerous or what the dangerous situations are in Colombia and how dangerous they are, what exactly are the issues and we com can will compare them to other cities that you might know. So first I want to have a little disclaimer. If you have anything to do with drug trafficking, with prostitutes, with being on the front line of some kind of protests in Colombia, um, then this video doesn't apply to you. Uh, the life in Colombia can be dangerous if you do one of those three things. Then the fourth thing is at the current time of making of this video, I'm not talking about uh, the city of Cali. Cali goes through a turbulent time at the moment and it's a little bit unsafe. Um, so I'm not going to include Cali in this uh, video. So let's talk about what you can do to avoid dangerous situations here. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to being street smart. Um, Colombia or uh, if you're gonna come to Colombia most probably it's gonna be a big city usually the the pueblos so the little villages outside are usually very very safe so you can walk around there at night um, it's yeah usually they're very very safe like usually villages are around the world anyway with some exceptions of course but here in this video we're most probably gonna talk about city because this is most probably where you're gonna come to if you visit Colombia so be street smart and have in, uh, in the back of your mind that this is a big city like you would do in the US. So be street smart, don't show off your stuff, um, be aware at night, especially in dark alleys, don't wander around where you don't have any business to do. If you wander around where you don't have anything to do, pretend like you have something to go to, all of those things then also especially here in Medellin, Medellin a lot of people from abroad come here to do to partying if you party of course after let's say 11 o'clock at night shadier people are going to go out shadier people are going to be at street corners watching people trying to figure out who's drunk who they can take advantage of Fortunately, in Colombia, the issue is not really the police, so the police is not corrupt, so you have to be afraid of them. But it's just some goons out there that try to take advantage of drunk gringos and all of those things. So those are things that happen in the cities of Colombia, uh, especially if it has anything to do with a date that's a little bit too good to be true or way good to be true for some people uh, out there. Usually that can lead to a dangerous situation. Again, at, uh, in further in this video, we're going to talk about what those situations are. So all of those things. So be aware when you're partying. Um, be aware if it's a little too good to be true if you're dating a girl and she's way out of your league. Um, all of those things. So that's with what you can avoid of being of getting yourself into dangerous situations. We actually did a couple of videos about safety in Colombia. They're still up to date with what exactly is going on, where we also talk about the statistics here and we talked with other experts what they think. So the link to that is in the description down below. So if you watch those videos, you will find out that if you actually live in Colombia, safety issues is not too big of a deal. And it's actually safer to be a gringo so an American, let's say, in Colombia than it is to be an American in America. So I did a calculation there in one of the videos and we're going to find it down below. So let's talk about what the actual dangers are in Colombian cities. So the one, the most prevalent thing, of course, are the what we call fleteros. So the fleteros is this like typical Latin <laughs> um, picture you have in mind with two guys on a motorcycle, one driving it and one with the gun on the back. So he may be going to go off uh, the bike and it's gonna and he gonna he's gonna ask for whatever you have the good thing there is of course it's a horrible situation but the good thing there is they're usually not out to harm you in any way nor kill you um, they just want to get their stuff and go on so don't resist if you have anything there so just give them your stuff it's way more valuable than your life 
and you don't want to be a hero because you never know who else is watching you never know yeah maybe you can take care of the two guys and you're gonna do i don't know your karate tricks but you never know if there's a guy in the back with a machete with a with a gun that will gun you down so you just give them your stuff and you go on with your life right um that's really the most uh, most important thing and yes we have friends that happen to them sitting in cafes um we had friends on the street being asked for directions and then all of a sudden they see a, a, see a shiny revolver if you want to find out more about those stories we have we have actually a video course um where we talk about how to be an expert in colombia how to every to do everything and also we talk about more of the shady stuff we can talk about here on youtube so make sure to check out the link to that video course in the description down below but yes these flat errors are usually the thing you see then other things that can happen especially in the party scenes and especially connected to girls that are too good to be true is the scolponamine issue so scolponamine is a drug that's also called devil's breath um, which is kind of a crazy uh, criminal drug um, it will render you willingless so you just it so you get that applied sometimes they say it's a powder blown in your face sometimes they say it's a cream sometimes they put it in your drink i'm sure there's a specialist about that how they do that but i've heard those stories we actually know a couple of people actually that have been applied that's called bonamine drug what it actually does is as i said it renders you willingless so they will give you the drug wait a couple of uh, minutes i don't know five ten half an hour something like that and then they will go to your place and rob whatever you have or they go to the atm and tell you you know what uh wouldn't be it wouldn't it be good that you take out all the money you have in your in your account and you say yeah that's pretty much a good idea and you choose will do it and then the crazy thing is you can't remember anything afterwards again we have some crazy stories which i talk about in the in the video course but it's just it's it's kind of scary and it can leave um long-term side effects so you have to be really careful with that but again usually this thing is especially connected to prostitutes connected to dates and connected to partying and women most probably so the thing is that usually these types of drugs in the western countries where we are from are applied to women here it's actually the other way around here they're actually usually applied to men so men have to be more um, careful with these kind of uh, with their drinks or anything that they don't get anything put in then of course the the usual like the pickpocketing and all of those things happen here in the city as well but it's not more than other cities i would say in the americas or just big cities generally in in the western world let's say but those surely are the two biggest things you should be aware of of these fleteros so of the two guys on a motorcycle and of those of this scolpolamine thing scolpolamine thing is surely not as popular as the stories you would hear about flateros so the two guys on a motorcycle but the effects i think are way harder so also be aware of that so the risk is less but the the outcome is is scarier so be aware of the scope one of my thing so how would i uh, compare the situation here to other countries and have i felt unsafer in the last couple of months or even years of living here in colombia and the answer is first of all no i don't feel more unsafe now even though these protests are going on and all of that because i'm not a part of that protest i'm not gonna confront with the police here so for me my life is pretty much the same thing also with covid and all of those things going on i don't feel more unsafe here i have not heard more crazy stories than before i was actually quite surprised how things pretty much stayed the same here in regards to uh, crime and all of that no matter what the statistics say i don't go about statistics because i think at the end of the day they're fake anyway or not real anyway at least so but how i feel here in the city is pretty much the same thing uh, as i've felt yeah the last couple of years then uh, how would i compare being here in colombia the safety implications i have here in comparison to other cities so if i talk to about cities in the americas so no matter so canada is is another thing but let's say the us and all the way south uh, from there to argentina i would say it's pretty much the same thing it's just big cities in the americas are a little bit more dangerous you have to have your head on a swivel a bit, little bit more you have to know what your risks are where to go and all of those things be more uh, careful at night 
But if you do that, you're gonna be fine in Colombia. Even the barrios, so the favelas, let's say, are safer here than compared to other Latin American countries. So especially in Colombia, the barrios, the barrio popular, so the favelas, how you would call them, are safer here than compared to Brazil or Honduras or all of these other places, which doesn't mean you have to wander around at night there, but usually nothing's gonna happen if you wander there. But again, be street smart, don't go there if you don't have business there, but that doesn't mean that there are like people with guns waiting at the entries of these favelas, uh, like you see you see it in, in Brazil or other places in Latin America. So if you compare it like that, of course it's more or less the same thing here in Colombia, at least compared to any other city in the US. Compared to Europe, of course, it's a little bit of a different topic. Uh, European cities are quite safe, even though they're uh, bigger. So if you are used to li life in a European city, don't expect the same safety as you would have here in, in Colombia. So you have to take a little bit more precautions. I know what I'm talking about. I'm coming from one of the safest quote unquote cities in the world, like Switzerland. So I had to really learn how to adapt living in a city in the Americas. So be aware that yes, it's a little bit more unsafe here. You have a little bit more risk, but doesn't that doesn't mean that you will not enjoy your vacation. That doesn't mean you will not enjoy your life if you live here. I'm no kind of karate man, martial arts expert, Navy SEAL, and I survived it here, knock on wood, without any incidents whatsoever. Uh, part of that has to do, of course, with luck. Part of that has to do with it's not as dangerous as um, as it seems if you first hear, hear about Colombia. And part of it because I uh, take the, the, uh, the correct precautions and I live in a place which is very safe in the city. So I'm in less of a risk of getting into any kind of weird situation because of, of these three aspects. So uh, that's all I want to say in this video. So for me, it's a safe city to live in, a safe city to visit, even in the year 2021 and beyond, hopefully. Um, so don't worry too much. Just be street smart. At the end of the day, that's what it is. So um, yes, that's pretty much concludes uh, the, this video. Again, if you want to find out more about life in Colombia, how maybe you could live in Colombia full time, make sure to check out the link in the description about the video course where we share great insider knowledge. Yes, other than that, I uh, hope you will come to Colombia soon and see you in the next video.